Welcome back to Studio 701. So there's a new book on the market with a great little backstory. In today's Check It Out, author Catherine Pendergast joins us now to tell us all about it. Thank you so much for being here, Catherine. Thanks for having me. So we've had you on the show to talk about your Pickles the Doc book series. And when you wrote that book, you went under the name Cat Socks. So I did. We have Catherine Pendergast <laughs> and Cat Socks. It's yes. the same person, guys, I promise. <laughs> but now you've written a new book with the help of your son, and it has to do with dinosaurs. So please tell us all about it. Yes. So one day we were just driving, and my son asked me if he could write a book like me. And I asked him what he would write about. And he told me I would love to write about my favorite dinosaur, a Spinosaurus. I thought, well, that's a pretty good idea. And I asked him what he'd put in the book. And he said, well, I'd love it if it could rhyme, because he had just learned about rhyming. He's in kindergarten. And then also fun facts about the Spinosaurus, which is his favorite dinosaur. Oh, and how <laughs> old is your son? He's six. Oh, goodness. So he helped you write this book. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the story of, of the Spinosaurus? Yeah, so in the book, um, it has a lot of fun facts about the Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus was pretty unique in that it had this huge sail on the back, and they didn't really know what that was for, if it was for scaring away foes or if it helped them swim, because this was a dinosaur that they believed could swim. Um, these arms were a little bit longer than like a T-Rex, so he could actually sink down and run around on all fours. Um, being a quadruped and then it also had this crocodilian snout that was perfect for piercing fish so um, all those fun facts we put in there and and then they just kind of rhyme so that's so wonderful and your son looks so proud <laughs> in those photos I'm sure he's very excited to be doing what mom does yes so tell us Kat um, obviously this is not your first book that you've written tell us about some of your other publications so I got into children's books with um, my first book, Pickles the Dog Adopted in North Dakota, which that one is about a real dog named Pickles. She was originally from Minot, North Dakota during the 2011 flood. She kept getting returned to the shelter over and over and a family member of mine ended up with her and she's just the best dog ever. So um, I decided I wanted to share her story and start writing about her. So that was the very first book and there's Pickles. And in the second one, that was a Christmas one. And the third one was Pickles Goes to School. <laughs> <laughs> and is, is uh, Pickles still with us or? Um, she actually passed away last year. So um, she lived to be about 10 years old and she had a really great life after she got adopted, so. Mm -hmm. And her legacy obviously lives on yes. in, in the three books that you've written about her. So that's really awesome. Um, you had mentioned, you know, that this is initially what got you into writing these children's books. Um, my question is, you know, you wrote a book with your son. Do you maybe foresee writing another book with him? Yeah, he actually wants to write one about a T-Rex and he wants it to be a T-Rex Christmas one. So we just talked about that the other day and we gotta get going on it. <laughs> okay. And Kat, can you tell a little bit about your inspiration? When you write a children's book, are you aiming to give uh, a moral, a message to the kids, or you just want to entertain? What's, what's your take? You know, each book is a little bit different. In the Pickles books, there's a lot of life lessons in those. Um, the Spinosaurus one, that one was a little bit more educational, and um, I also wrote a set of books to help children during a time of loss. I work in the funeral industry, so I partnered with a funeral director, so um, that was also to help children through a very, very difficult time. Um, but Babies of the Badlands, a little educational, but also just kind of a fun book. And of course, the illustrations are always so important with children's books, so mm -hmm. that's probably my favorite part. Okay, and obviously, where can we get our hands on these books? They are available on my website, catsocks.com. They're available in stores here at Ferguson Books and More, Punky's Bath and Gift, and North Dakota Embroidery and Gift in the Kirkwood Mall. Mm -hmm. Well, the books, I mean, I know they're children's books, but I'm, I'm a big fan of children's <laughs> books, and I know uh, I might have to stop by a Ferguson bookstore and, and grab some myself and maybe mail them out to my nephews. I know they, they'd probably enjoy them even more than I would. Um, so anyhow, thank you, Catherine, for being here today. Thank you. And this has been Check It Out.
Uh, I am a Spinosaurus bigger than a T-Rex is available for purchase at catsocks.com and like Catherine said, you can also find them uh, locally. Our producer Andrew Verrier, I'm sure oh, would sure. love that book. Andrew is a big <laughs> dinosaur guy. Well,